Treating pain is part of EMS care. It's important that we treat the underlying cause of the pain during EMS patient encounters, but treating pain as an individual symptom is important as well. Treatments include non-pharmacological techniques as well as pharmacological pain management. Comfortable positioning, splinting of fractures or suspected fractures, the application of ice, elevation, and compression of musculoskeletal injuries, particularly joint injuries, are all forms of non-pharmacological pain management. Pharmacological treatment of pain in EMS, whether or not associated with trauma, has historically been limited to narcotic analgesics. Santa Clara County EMS is introducing intravenous acetaminophen as a non-narcotic alternative to the treatment of pain. Intravenous acetaminophen can be used to treat mild to moderate pain. The medication may be used for patients weighing greater than 50 kilograms. Patients will receive 1,000 milligrams of the medication administered from a 100 milliliter vial infused through IV over 15 minutes. There are important contraindications to consider prior to the administration of acetaminophen. Known allergies to acetaminophen, severe active liver disease, or prior dosing of 3,000 milligrams of acetaminophen within the previous 24 hours. IV or IM morphine will remain as the pharmacological treatment of pain for pediatric patients, as well as patients weighing less than 50 kilograms. Please reference the Santa Clara County protocols for morphine dosing guidelines. To determine if IV acetaminophen should be used, the protocol provides the following guidance. Using the pain scale of 1 to 10, if the patient expresses pain of a 7 or greater, or the patient weighs less than 50 kilograms, use morphine via IM or IV. If the patient expresses pain of less than a 7, and the patient is greater than 50 kilograms, use IV acetaminophen. It is also important to consider the contraindications for IV acetaminophen when determining the appropriate pharmacological treatment. IV acetaminophen is supplied in a 1,000 mg, 100 ml glass vial. Using an aseptic technique, open the cap to the vial, clean the port with an alcohol wipe, and insert the macro drip IV administration set. Ensure the side port vent cap is opened. Administer the 1,000 mg dose over approximately 15 minutes. The drip rate should be 60 drops per minute. Here is a short video from Santa Clara County Ambulance demonstrating the setup for administration of IV acetaminophen. The IV acetaminophen that we're carrying, it comes in a glass vial. This means that you will need to have a vented IV tubing, which we show here, and an alcohol probe. The trade name is Ophirmev acetaminophen injection, as you can see. The concentration is 1,000 milligrams in 100 milliliters. There's a plastic tab that comes down uh, that you can use to hang the vial once you've spiked it. In case you weren't familiar, this red tab here is the vent, uh, vent port for your drip set. Uh, make sure that, that is open when you're spiking the vial. As with spiking any IV drip set, take off your plastic tab. We're going to use aseptic technique. Get your alcohol prep. And make sure to clean the port. Now make sure that your vent is open and insert the drip set into the vial. When possible, keep the drip chamber about one third full. And we're going to be administering this particular medication um, 60 drips per minute, so that equals about one drop per second. This in particular medication needs to be administered over 15 minutes. Uh, so make sure that you're monitoring the vial and it's not going faster than intended. Once the medication's beginning to be close to uh, the, the finishing, the uh, completion of the vial, make sure that you're not, uh, make sure that you're monitoring it so that you don't administer any air into the, uh, into the line. And also this particular medication can be administered IV piggyback or uh, straight into the um, IV saline lock. 
part of the strategy in deploying IV acetaminophen is to reduce the use of morphine enough to more effectively manage the ongoing and variable manufacturing shortages the system has experienced. The Santa Clara County EMS IV acetaminophen clinical protocol is being published as a temporary freestanding clinical protocol pending field clinical experience with a focus in mild to moderate pain management, as well as field operational practicality. Should IV acetaminophen be clinically and operationally favorable, it will be integrated into the existing pain management protocols. Stocking of IV acetaminophen will initially be optional ALS inventory, but one to two doses per ALS unit is recommended. All Santa Clara County EMS policies and protocols may be found on the EMS Agency's website at www.sccemsagency.org. For any questions pertaining to IV acetaminophen, please email us at emsagency at ems.sccgov.org.